channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here today we have this 2011 mazda cx-9 we'll start it up show the engine and show the lights and that kind of stuff it does not have it has central locking and power locks but the um key fob is dead so none of those features work unfortunately sorry about the background noise there is a wind chime. Hundred ninety thousand four hundred ninety three miles. Wonderful. This is a I believe this is a four or five speed automatic gear automatic transmission with manual gear selection does come with a reverse camera mounted in the mirror, like a little itty bitty one. Split opening glove box. Or the center console, and then there's the actual glove box. Two stage heated seats. Dual zone climate. The annoying thing about this, every time you push a button, it beeps. Um, it is a dual zone with AC. Um, get your cup holders. Um, the front two windows are automatic down and up. Uh, power mirrors. Um, I believe this is Bluetooth somehow or somewhere in this setup. The uh, yeah. There's the That's broken. That is not broken. It, it won't even go. Oh my god. This is a very high mileage car. And it has been used very thoroughly. So now we will cut on the lights. As well as the hazards and we will step outside the car. You can see the taped on subway bag, which I've used to cover up the license plate. The headlights are fogged over a bit. to get to the trunk. Which is fairly spacious. Behind, with the third row up, I'll pull this third row seat down so that I can hop into the other third row seat via the trunk. Um, back here it is tight squeeze. Um, but it's not horrible, and these seats are very comfortable. They're this imitation leather, I think. I do not think this is real leather. You do get a light. Uh, and yeah. Uh, now, let's go check out the second row seat. So... This seat is up kind of far, um, but it does have pretty good leg room and headroom. Uh, here is 
a cup holder. And you do get climate back here, climate controls. And that stuff. Um, do not get automatic windows back here. You do get the light though. Um, not very good under thigh support. Um, the seats are again very comfortable. And yeah. Okay, we can cut the lights off and the hazards off and cut the car off and open the hood. There's the latch. This is a V6. Um, yeah, it's a very reliable engine. It's a very reliable car. Um, and yeah. Now we'll just show it starting up and show the reverse lights and the revs. Thanks for watching this video really hope you enjoyed please like subscribe comment down below what you thought of this video and what cars i should review next and hit the bell to never miss an upload since the central and power locking is broken i will click the key in the door <laughs> oh my god all right keys fixed bye y'all